got a message from Soul of the Bang today asking me if I would share my opinions on Caitlyn Jenner, um, formerly Bruce Jenner. And so I thought I would put together a very quick uh, video clip stating my opinions. And it's basically this. I'm, I'm very happy for her. You know, I'm glad that she finally decided to come out and be herself in public. You know, after all these years. You know, my understanding is that Bruce, you know, had to had to go around hiding himself. Hiding his, his true identity, he always had a secret. And, you know, now finally, he doesn't have to keep bearing that secret. It must feel like such a huge weight lifted. And it, it reminded me of um, Nang Doom. That's why I put uh, Nang Doom's um, picture up here. Because she was one of the first ones that really, like, I think, shifted my consciousness in regard to um, in regard to these kind of gender reassignment or sex reassignment um, <coughs> surgical procedures and such Nong Thum was uh, of course um, a very famous Thai kickboxer um, formerly male who really essentially like fought her way to gender reassignment to earn the money for gender reassignment and now look how beautiful she is and, and obviously happy and so in, in these kind of cases I think this is you know wonderful that somebody gets to be themselves doesn't have to keep going around hiding themselves, hiding who they really are. And, you know, as far as how I feel about <clears throat> you know, the, the values involved, like, there are people out here that think this is some kind of sinful thing. How crazy is that? I mean, every single one of us comes out of, comes from the womb of a woman. So we are, as my friend Darren so aptly puts it, we were at one time literally an organ inside of a woman's body. And just because we were taken out doesn't mean that we were not still an organ of a woman. Um, we were part of a woman, and thus all of us are women in that respect. Whether we're men or not, all of us are, are also women. And I think there's some people who were born with, even though they might have a lot of aspects of the male gender, they might have really more of the female. And so <laughs> to try to tell them they have to be the male when biologically they're obviously female to the greater extent is crazy. It's nuts. So, you know, in my perspective, this should be celebrated. And it is being celebrated. Um, what we need to do, however, is really explore, you know, the cultural values in these genders at this point. I think John Stewart really pointed it out the other day, saying, you know, when Bruce was a man, 
um, we were talking about his athleticism and this and that. But, you know, as soon as Caitlin is a woman, <laughs> all that really matters is her looks. And it's hard to get away from that. I mean, even, even for myself and a lot of other very thoughtful people, I think, you know, when I look at Nang Thum, it's the beauty that I'm looking at. You know, I'm not looking at her as this, like, excellent fighter. I'm attracted to her beauty. And not that there's anything wrong with beauty. But it's interesting that that is what the female means to us culturally, is the beauty. <laughs> Whereas the male has all these other attributes that are actually given a kind of a higher value um, in many ways in our society. It doesn't take away from the beauty. The beauty's, uh, beauty's fantastic. So... Yeah, so my opinion is um, I'm glad it's being celebrated. I haven't been paying much attention. Um, I know it's been well over a year, the anticipation of, of um, this shift from Bruce to Caitlin. It's so awesome now that, you know, it, along with the shift come a name change. And from now on, we're going to know this person is Caitlin. That's something that's familiar to me here from Blackfoot territory is when you want to change your life, you also change your name. And a lot of times here, people might go through three, four names in one lifetime. So it makes all the sense in the world to me. Um, and I'm glad this is being done open in the public and I'm happy again for Caitlin to finally be able to be herself and all the others who who um, have to get out of their false shell that they've been forced into and, and be themselves it's great